Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from the Retro Collectors, and today we're going to discuss some amazing news that came out of CES. Retrobit, the gaming company, came out at the end of December stating that they're going to be working hand in hand with Sega to release a bunch of new accessories and controllers and possible new console for Sega. This is an amazing news as part of me being a Sega fan and loving Sega from the Genesis to the Dreamcast. I never really got my hands on a Saturn, but these two consoles right here were an instrumental part of me playing through the 90s. This in the early 90s, this in the late 90s. I love both of these systems from the NES to the Genesis. That's how I went. Most people went the Super Nintendo route. I went to the Genesis route and I didn't regret going to the Genesis and the Sega brand itself. Well, back to the CES. My buddy John Riggs and Sean Long were able to get a few screenshots of what this could mean for the consoles and for the accessories in the future. So right here you see the Sega Genesis, the six button controller, a Bluetooth, style controller it was just a better controller in the hands it was a great little controller to have when you were playing genesis next up is the dreamcast something that i'm looking forward to something that i've always wanted i've seen a lot of people in the dreamcast junkyard and a, f a few people in the dreamcast community somebody created a bluetooth controller a while back and was charging an arm and a leg because it was something that he made as a hobby piece and he was selling himself everybody was clamoring to it it was something that looked amazing something to play bluetooth on your Dreamcast. And I have no issues with my length of wire to my Dreamcast. I could sit back and play no matter what. But I, once I have everything wired or wireless, it's amazing little thing to have nobody being able to trip over controllers. That's a great deal. So as you can see in this these pictures, you see Bluetooth, wireless controllers, wired controllers, black and white variances, and a VGA box, which is a great little thing because again, Hansel was probably the best VGA box on the market right now and it being extremely expensive especially on eBay if they could release it at a fairly good price that's amazing uh, uh, people would be clamoring just for the Dreamcast ability to do so many things that you were it weren't able to do before Saturn also got these wireless controllers and Bluetooth dongles and a whole bunch of other stuff but what this means in the future this can mean a lot of great things Sean Long from RGT 85 listed in his video that apparently somebody asked the associates at Retrobit at CES and asking about consoles and they said there wasn't something that they're not looking into which is a really good way of thinking of it that for us as Dreamcast and Genesis and Saturn players and gamers we can actually play this on the go, maybe being able to take a little console with an HDMI cord to a friend's house rather than taking a whole bunch of console accessories and controllers and wires and all that. It's HDMI, plug, away you go with this little system, which is, which is an amazing little thing in itself. What do you guys think? Are you guys interested in a mini console for the Sega brand? Are you guys interested in wireless and wired controllers for the Sega brand? Are you guys interested in a VGA box for the Sega Dreamcast? I know I certainly am. Please let me know in the comments down below. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're the first time here. Thanks, guys.